time to clean my plants. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Mini Shanaz. Today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. <coughs> Disgusting. Disgusting. <laughs> so what I'm doing today is that I'm going to do some plant maintenance because it's about that time of the year, it's coming to summer and I need to maintain my plants give them a little bit of upkeep refresh the soil see maybe if they need some fertilizer and also just have a chit chat you know a life update what's been happening in my life because i don't really do that much because most of the time i'm doing how to's or on my shorts i'm always like doing a little tiff or speaking about a certain topic but today i really just wanted to do a plant maintenance such a cute plant look at it i got it from b&q it was a clearance plant that i've managed to save and bring it to this it has nothing on it when it had nothing on it when i got it, i'm telling you nothing and i was able to bring it back into its glory guys because I'm an OG raking up the soil and this is just you don't want to you want to do this very lightly and this just helps the roots get a little bit more oil it makes sure also that the soil is not tight and it's nice and loose so it's easier also making sure that all the water gets everywhere and then tomorrow I'm going to water them but I want to give them a little bit of air today I'll call it like a little garden of succulents my garden of succulents isn't it so you I got it from Sainsbury's I just want to clear out the soil if you're not one that is used to planting, I'll definitely say be careful to not over soil it because it's easy for your plant to go haywire when you have this moss that they grow on top of. The plant has air. This is my fern. It's called a Boston fern. And if you come from Jamaica you've probably seen this in Portland or around Jamaica but yeah that's why I like this plant as you can see I unfortunately let it dry out a bit oh, it's it's moist now but I did unfortunately let it dry out a bit and um, baby it leave me with a tree and then this is just some soil I have with egg cooked egg cells inside of it just to create a little bit more robust a uh, robust soil for my plants and this means that it doesn't get compact and tight and it's allowed the soil just is allowed to breathe and grow and just better uh, for the actual plant but yeah oh my god life update so left my job quit yeah I know I didn't expect to be that girl but I randomly just became that girl I just for me I just felt the energy and then the decision was made and I had to do it and that was the choice that I made I've never done this before I've never even moved a job in four years until this job I moved to so to even make this jump is just so surprising for me but sometimes in life you have to be uncomfortable to grow and this is the time that being uncomfortable and not knowing what I'm going to do but just knowing that I have a goal of the next thing I want to do before I hit 30 is actually do something that I'm passionate 
about so that is the the big jump and the next big push that i that i have and that i am i'm working towards honestly i don't know where this is gonna take me i have been applying for jobs because obviously money i still have to make money you know i still got to survive i'll say since leaving work i'm just a little bit more happy i'll definitely say that if you know um i am at the start but i'm still excited i'm not scared i'm just comfortable you know it's it's i feel like for once in my life i'm finally just like breathe you know just take a moment just focus on myself focus on what i actually want to do and how i actually want to grow you know what can you believe that i suffer from hay fever and i love plants and every time i am around my plants they give me really bad hay fever so i apologize if i start sniffing but it just shows you how obsessed you're, you can be with something when you suddenly when you even though it makes you sick you're still doing it but yeah i was just getting rid of some of the ends as you can see spreading it out separating the leaves making sure everything has space and yeah so that's the that's the boston i don't spray my plants i know some people do but I don't believe I need to spray my plants. Your plants will grow without you spraying them with water. Now this is the this is the bigger one. This is the bigger one. So basically what happened is that when you see this little bit of dry, I went away to Jamaica, yeah, and child, I came back and some of my plants were really, really telling me how much they missed me by this by some of them drying up some of the leaves drying up so but you, you have to be very delicate with this one because you can't allow the soil to get above the actual top of the plant or you actually don't allow the plant to grow new leaves so you have to be careful about that guys and this is definitely one of my hardest plants to grow it's took i've bought this plant like six times that's how many times i've bought this plant because every time I buy this plant, something always happens, but I refuse to give up. I'm gonna learn how to master this plant. I would say this is better than my other ones, but there was a little bit of overwatering that led to the leaves turning out like that. But apart from that, it's good. Trailing ivy. This is a nice plan. I wouldn't say anything too hard about it. Yeah, guys, but this this new phase of my life, waking up every day is a bit like, you know, like, you know, eyes wide open. You know, before my eyes were wide shut, but now it's like wide open, you know? What can I do? Because it's like, now I have, because I've spent five years building my career, I built a, I built a decent, I built a decent career. So now that I have this little time off, don't know long term i'm now going to pursue the things that i enjoy doing and see if they work out for me start new businesses the things that i've been dreaming about looking about researching for ages i'm gonna start them the things i love which is like skincare i'd love to provide a natural alternative for that because i'm so much into nature that would be a cool thing to do and then You have to get rid of the old leaves because it doesn't if you keep the old leaves it doesn't allow for new leaves to grow and sometimes it's just a representation of life you know if you never get rid of the old you will never allow the chance for something new to come into your life my trailing ivy is trailing it's trailing yeah it's growing Look at this fan. This it's so adorable. It's just so beautiful. I love it so much. But I have two of them. I'd get much more. I'd get a whole entire room of them if I could. Why are you so fantastic? Why? I made onions. They're in the 
onions. Onion disguise. It's onions. Yeah, so I'm just topping up the salt. Sometimes I just like separating them out. I, can, I feel like sometimes they can get really tangled up and they don't have the chance to separate themselves. It's so cute. It's so cute. Ja -ja. Hello. This is a beautiful plant too. Quite, quite nice to have as a beginner too. I definitely recommend. As I said, I'm just airing out the soil, and then tomorrow I will do the watering. Some of them don't require watering, like this one. I think this one's quite moist, so I wouldn't really water this. I'll let the soil get dry, and do let your soils get dry before you water. My little acorn. I use the acorn to hold it up. Look at style, look at style, look at style. Anyway, I am starving, so I'm gonna get some food and come back. Made it back. Made it back. This is a plant that I literally grew from a leftover part of this. I cut it off, I put it in the soil, left it to grow. It did take one year, guys, like a whole year, like a whole 12 months, yeah, that part. To even get to this point of it growing something, yeah. So like don't, you know, have patience with plants. Like life, you know? That's why I like them, because I do think they're a nice representation of sometimes what you should do in life. Sometimes you need to be a bit patient. And before you know it, new growth will happen and that's what i'm hoping will happen with this new part of my life peekaboo peekaboo i see you peekaboo peekaboo i'm not gonna lie i'm not a person that kind of knows each and every plant i fell in love with plants because i liked how they look i pick a plant based off its appearance that might be vain but that's how i choose the plants and then over the years over the years i've gained an understanding of what plants are harder what plants are more easier to take care of what plants are necessary for a dark room what plants are necessarily in a light room and as you can see these are all my indoor plants so it takes time you can build up a garden where each plant, each indoor plant doesn't die. I think I need to plant it this way now because this side is growing. As you can see, this is growing and then this now needs to grow. This is my most funkiest plant because it's just how it grows. It's just funky. I have five of these plants. And as you can see, I bought them all at the same time and they grow all differently. So just understand that with plants. And you've got to be careful with this plant because how this plant kind of best to water it is you, you water it and then you make sure that the actual soil completely dries out. Because once this gets over watered, yeah, this is going to slowly start to die. So you just have to be very careful about that. Like this one, this one's a little bit more watered than my other two. So tomorrow, tomorrow I can't just go around or in water everywhere. Can't do that. Now this is, this is a plant that I've had for a couple of years now. Yeah. Hold it close to me. It's one of the first plants I had that I successfully didn't kill in the first few days. Yeah. As they say, you never forget the first. I sure didn't. So I'm just airing out the soil. I will say I have neglected my plants a little bit. This used to be like massive and it's not so massive anymore so even though it's very it's still good as you can see but i definitely need to put a little bit more tlc into my plants and hopefully this time i can take you on my plant my plant journey 
Ooh, and me. Your location. So this is another uh, from being cute. Didn't survive. Unfortunately, you know, it really didn't. I was a bit like, damn, life comes at you fast. Life comes at you kind of fast. Mm -hmm. I like to use this because the pH of this was quite acidic. So I used my incense and I, it helped change the pH of the soil. And it also was a good, good grow for the soil. So that's, that's what I've done with this one. This was a clearance plant too that I decided to bring back. Moha <laughs> ha. Yeah, look at this. It's like, okay, girl, going to the sky. Girl, ha ha. But yeah. Just airing out the soil and getting that freshened up. This is one. This is one I want to include. <gasps> oh my god. Connected. I like to remove dry leaves. I moved this plant back there and then it really didn't like being all the way back there because it's normally on my windowsill. So I had to move it. Your location. Yep, those are all the onion things. You see? Now this is my bigger fan. Mm. We love for a long time. Love for a long time. Oh, look how dry this is. Do you hear that? I know. I know you can hear the dryness. I must be thinking, how? How could you let this happen? Life is like a roller coaster. Sometimes you're all in. Sometimes, wow. And lately, I have been out of it, y'all. Because that is not. And the soil too. But yeah, it's growing. It's growing. This side had a little bit of a challenge. Just a little bit challenge. But apart from that, no, it's growing. How adorable. Thank you. Okay. Did you get the black one? Yes. Can you see that one? Yeah? A sinus bush here. Well, like two leaves or three. Sinus and asthma cures the, those things. Okay. Okay. No, we'll take it. We'll take it. Thank so, you. And my just, my just thing said, you never take that one to the zip. Okay, baby. Because I made the your one. Mm. So I go on. Nothing, babe. I'm just worried. I'm just looking after my plants. Um, see that look. Perfect. Nice and black. Thank you. Okay. So what did you get from the market? You got the what? Everything. Rosemary, the neem, the root, the 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 fermenter leaf, fermenter seed, the lemon grass. Okay then, thank you so much. I'm just doing my plans. You just called me while I was just doing my plans. You see, it? so it's not. Did you want to talk to me? Yeah, I want to talk to you, but you know, you're doing your plans. You know, I'll let me that when I reach up. Are you leaving now? Yeah, I'm leaving. Okay then. So call me when you reach up. And that is it for my indoor garden. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I hope that you enjoyed. And now it's time for me to clean. So that's what I'm going to do. Follow, like and subscribe for more. See you next. See you in the next video. Bye.